Hey guys, and welcome to another Visual Learner Studios video. Today we'll be talking about non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, plus acetaminophen, which is not technically an NSAID, but works in a similar fashion. We will discuss this in further detail shortly. But first, NSAIDs are a class of drugs that have analgesic, antipyretic, and anti-inflammatory properties. They work by inhibiting the enzyme cyclooxygenase, or COX, which is responsible for catalyzing the formation of prostaglandins and thromboxanes from arachidonic acid. Prostaglandins have a wide variety of functions within the body, including the regulation of inflammation. Therefore, by stopping the synthesis of prostaglandins, an overall anti-inflammatory effect occurs. COX has two main isoenzymes, COX-1 and COX-2. COX-1 has a role in many physiological processes, one of which is protecting the stomach mucosa from the acidic environment. COX-2, on the other hand, mainly functions in inflammation. Therefore, the wanted effects of NSAIDs are actually from inhibiting COX-2 specifically. Most NSAIDs are non-selective COX inhibitors, meaning that they inhibit both COX-1 and 2. As a result, prostaglandin levels in the stomach can be reduced and the risk of stomach or duodenal ulceration increases. Selective COX-2 inhibitors were developed to avoid this problem, but in practice they are usually used for different conditions and they are present with their own set of adverse effects, which we won't delve into today. So, coming back to acetaminophen, it isn't considered an NSAID because it has very little anti-inflammatory properties. Its main function is blocking COX-2 in the central nervous system, leading to analgesic and antipyretic effects. All right, enough about the boring stuff. Let's move on to the story behind this absurd picture. What we have here is a team of wannabe alien pirates from the planet NSAID, who try their best to imitate the true potent pirates from the planet Steroid. Their leader is infamously stubborn Captain Asper, as you can see here. Unfortunately, he has yet to successfully raid any planet due to his cowardliness. Captain Asper and his crew consisting of two donut portal masters, seen here and here, and an army of cloned dice minions, developed a donut portal that allows them to teleport through the cosmos to a random location on whichever planet they desire. In this case, their target was Earth, and the donut portal led them to this barn with a giant napping ox and his rooster friend who's up for sale. Once Captain Asper saw the beastly ox. He got scared, crapped his pants, and called for a full retreat. Okay, the first thing we want you to take notice of is the flag that Captain Asper is carrying. Not only does this represent the crew's home planet, but more importantly, it is to remind you that this picture describes NSAIDs. Now, let's move on to discuss each of the characters. To start, let's talk about aspirin. Aspirin is a non-selective COX inhibitor. It is important to note that aspirin irreversibly inhibits COX, whereas all other NSAIDs are reversible inhibitors. As you may have already guessed, Captain Asper represents aspirin. To help you remember this, Captain Asper is super stubborn, so he makes irreversibly bad decisions. Although he's horrible at taking over planets, he refuses to give up. So, Asper, aspirin. Next up is ibuprofen, which is represented by one of the donut portal masters, the eyeball with the fin. This represents ibuprofen. Ibuprofen, eye with fin. The next two we're going to look at is diclofenac and indomethacin. Diclofenac is represented by the cloned dice minions entering the donut portal. Diclofenac, dice clones. Indomethacin is represented by the donut portal. Because a pirate crew always travels by going in the donut portal, we want you to think of indomethacin as going in the donut portal. Indomethacin, in do portal. The napping ox is there to remind you of naproxen. This one is pretty much self explanatory. Naproxen, napping ox. In the back, you can see a fenced-off rooster, or cock, which is being put up for sale. The metal fence is there to remind you of methanamic acid. So, metal fence, 
methenamic acid. The cock for sale represents celecoxib. It is important to note that celecoxib is a selective COX-2 inhibitor, which is represented by celecoxib isolated to a different area of the picture. So, celecoxib, celecoxib. Lastly, we have acetaminophen, which is represented by the other donut portal master, the ace with a fin. As we already discussed above, acetaminophen isn't a true NSAID. To help you remember this, we gave the donut portal master a neon green glowing aura to make him special. So, acetaminophen, ace with fin. Alright, so that's NSAIDs and acetaminophen. Let's run through a quick review. To begin with, the planet NSAIDs flag obviously reminds you of the drug class NSAIDs. Aspirin is a non-selective, irreversible drug, represented by Captain Asper. Aspirin, Captain Asper. Ibuprofen is a non-selective drug, an eyeball with a fin, ibuprofen. Diclofenac is also non-selective, diclofenac, dice clones. Indomethacin, non-selective as well, in to the dough nut portal, indomethacin. Naproxen, non-selective, the napping ox. Mephenamic acid, also non-selective, metal fence. Mephenamic acid, celecoxib, is a selective COX-2 inhibitor. Celecoxib, celecoxib. Lastly, we have acetaminophen. Remember, this is not an NSAID, but it does inhibit COX-2 in the CNS. Acetaminophen, ace with fin. Well, that concludes our video on NSAIDs. Remember, this is just a study aid, so you must always read additional material to supplement your knowledge. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for all the latest updates. Happy studying!